Welcome to the second lesson in the Getting Started series. My name's Joanne and I'm an account strategist at Google. You should have now set up your account and your first campaign. Now I'm going to walk you through a tour of your account so you can understand where everything is. We'll also cover the basic terms and concepts in your AdWords account to help you create an account for success. Here's the agenda for this session. We'll first cover a couple of account basics, then we'll jump straight into your ad campaigns, how to organise your account, account statistics and editing. We'll then cover another important topic, your billing details. And finally, we'll take a quick look at the other features of your account. At the end of this session, you should have a good grasp of where to find everything in your account, as well as how to make edits and updates. So let's get started with your account. To log into your account, visit adwords.google.com and enter your username and password you used when you created your account. If you've forgotten your details, just click on the Can't Access Your Account link below the login area. If you use bookmarks, you may want to bookmark this page so you can easily find your AdWords account whenever you want to review it. When you first log into your AdWords account, you'll be on the Home tab. The tabs at the top of your account is what you use to navigate around different sections of your account. On the Home tab that we see here, you can see an overview of how your account is performing. This includes alerts and announcements. Whenever you log in, make sure you check these sections as this is where AdWords will post any important updates or critical alerts. There are numerous other helpful sections on the Home tab, including an overview of your campaign performance, as well as telling you which keywords are working best and links to helpful content. You can also customise this page by clicking on the section headings and dragging the boxes to organise the page so you see the most important things to you at the top of the page. The Home tab is a good quick review of your account. The details of your ads can be found on the Campaigns tab. I recommend that whenever you log in to review your account, you take a quick look at the Home tab for an account overview and then dive into the Campaigns tab to review your account in detail. So let's take a look at what you will see on the Campaigns tab. If you only have one ad and one keyword list, this is what your Campaigns tab will look like with your ad and settings at the top of the page and your keywords below it. You can click through the information available using the tabs within this page. These are Settings, Ads, Keywords and Networks. This is the Keywords tab and shows you all of your keywords, their status and the performance statistics. One other thing to note here is that there is a help box on every page of your AdWords account that will help you with the page you're looking at or if your question isn't answered here, you can also search the AdWords Help Centre. So now we'll take a look at what the other tabs on this page show us. Clicking on the Settings tab shows you your campaign settings, including where your ad is targeted to and your daily budget. This is where you come to whenever you want to change any of these settings. Remember, you can change these as often as you like because your AdWords account is completely controlled by you. Just click on the edit links next to any of the settings to change them. The ads tabs show you the performance of all the ads you have running, including the status of your ads. For example, this ad is currently pending review. All ads that appear on Google have to be reviewed to ensure they meet our advertising policies. Some ads will run while they're waiting for review, whereas others will need to be reviewed before they start showing. For more information on the status of your ads, click on the question mark bubble. And the Networks tab shows you the performance of your ads on different networks. Google AdWords uses two different types of networks, the Search Network and the Content Network. And it's in this tab that you can review your performance on both of these networks. The search network includes Google Search as well as other search partners. The content network is a large, diverse network of sites that partner with Google. 
On the Content Network, you can show your ad to potential customers when they're looking at sites relating to your product or service. The Content Network offers two types of placements, managed and automatic. Automatic placements are where your ad has appeared automatically and is based on Google's targeting technology. We recommend new advertisers focus on automatic placements only in the beginning. You can then specify managed placements once you have more information about how your ad is performing on automatic sites. You can view all of the sites your ad has appeared on and their performance on these sites by clicking on the Show Details link. So, as I said earlier, this is what your account looks like if you only have one ad campaign. As you add to your account by clicking on the Create a New Campaign button, this view will change slightly. But before we look at how this view will change, I'll first explain a little bit about how your AdWords account is structured. Understanding how your account is structured is important for creating and developing a successful account. Let me explain. Your AdWords account is made up of three levels, account, campaign and ad group. AdWords uses this structure to help you create really targeted advertising. Your account is split into campaigns and each campaign into ad groups. Each ad group contains a keyword list and one or more ads. If you only have one ad and one keyword list, your account only has one campaign with one ad group. You can think about campaigns and ad groups like categories and subcategories to help you use them. Each campaign in your account should have a theme and each ad group should focus on one specific product or goal. For example, if you're an electronics retailer, you may want to organise your account like this. The ads in each ad group are shown when a user searches for the keywords in that ad group. Making each ad group tightly themed means that when a user searches for your keywords, they'll see an ad that is very relevant to their search and are therefore more likely to click on the ad and visit your site. The way you organise your account will be different for everyone, but as a rule of thumb, try to keep your ad groups as tightly themed as possible. So when someone searches for a flat screen TV, for example, they see your ad specifically related to the flat screen TVs you have on offer on your website. In order to use this campaign structure within your account, click on the Create a New Campaign button. When you click on this button in your account, you'll be asked what you want to do. Here, you have the option to create a new campaign, a new ad group within your current campaign, or simply an additional ad text within this first ad group. The option you choose will depend on how you want to organise your account. The easiest way to organise your account at first is with new ad groups. This will mean you can create a new keyword list and ad to advertise another of your products or services but while still using the same budget and targeting settings. When you click on the option you want to use, you'll be guided through the steps needed. And when you add either a new campaign or ad group, the view of your account will change slightly. The Help section moves down to the bottom of the page and a new section is added to give you a view of your account structure. Each folder represents a campaign. Here we just have one campaign and if you click on the folder, you'll see all of your ad groups. Here you can see we have a number of ad groups, one for each of the products we want to promote. Use this section to quickly navigate through your account. Another change on this page is the addition of two more tabs. The Campaigns tab is the view we see here and it shows you the performance of each of your campaigns. And the Ad Groups tab shows you all of your ad groups and the performance of each of these ad groups. But what do the statistics you see in your account tell you? Let's now take a look at some of the terms you'll see in your account and what they mean. Here are a few of the basic statistics shown in your account and what they mean. The number of clicks is how many times someone has clicked on your ad to visit your site. IMPR stands for Impressions, 
and the number of impressions is the number of times your ad has been displayed, or in other words, the number of times your ad has been seen by an internet user. CTR stands for click-through rate and is the number of clicks divided by the number of impressions. Click-through rate is often seen as a measure of relevancy because the more relevant your ad, the higher this percentage. A CTR of less than 1% can often be improved by reviewing your ads and keywords to make them more relevant. Average cost per click is the average amount you've paid per click on your ad. In your account, you set up the maximum cost per click, which is the maximum amount you're willing to pay every time someone clicks on your ad. Your actual cost per click is often less than the maximum you set, as the amount you pay is dependent on the dynamic AdWords auction. The average CPC you see in your account shows you an average of your actual cost per click. Average position refers to the average position of your ad on a search result. One is the highest position on the first page of search results. There is no bottom position. There are up to 11 ads shown on any search page, so if your average position is 11 or more, your ad is on average not appearing on the first page of search results. An average position of 1.7 means your ad usually appears in positions 1 or 2 and it may appear more often in higher positions than when triggered by a keyword with an estimated average position of 1.8. Average ad positions are not fixed and vary dependent upon your ad performance. You see different views of your account statistics on each of the tabs within your campaign's view. You can look at a specific period of time by changing the date range in the top right corner. Click on the arrow and then select the range you'd like to view. To put in your own dates, select Customised Date Range. You can then review your statistics in the data tables and there's also a handy graph to show you how your stats have changed over the period you're looking at. To change the statistics shown in this graph, just click on the Change Graph Options link and you'll be able to view any of your statistics in this graph. And you can also compare two statistics against each other. So now we've looked at what you'll see in your Campaigns tab, let's review how you make changes to your campaigns, such as adding keywords, editing ad text, etc. Your AdWords account is designed so you can edit everything quickly and easily. To edit your keywords, click on the Keywords tab. In your Keywords tab, you can change the status of your keyword by clicking on the green circle. You can change the keyword itself by clicking on the keyword, making the change and clicking Save. And you can change your maximum CPC by clicking on the row in your account. If you want to change a few keywords at once, select them by checking the boxes and then you can either click edit to edit them or change status to enable, pause or delete the selected keywords. To add new keywords, simply click on the add keywords button. Simply click on the add text you want to edit, changing the text you want to change and click save. To add a new ad, simply click on the New Add button. To add a new campaign, click on the New Campaign button on the Campaigns tab. You'll then be taken through setting up your new campaign settings and then on to Create an Ad and Keywords. If you want to add a new ad group to an existing campaign, just click on the campaign you want to add the ad group to. Here, we'll add it to our only available campaign, the Google Store campaign. You'll then be taken to the specific campaign where you can click on the New Ad Group button. You'll then be guided through creating a new ad text and keyword list. So that's all we're going to cover in this lesson about how to work with your campaigns and edit your ads. If you'd like more details about how to work with your account, including reviewing and improving your performance, take a look at the next lesson in the Getting Started series. For now, we're going to leave campaigns and take a quick look at another important aspect of your account, your billing details. 
All of your billing information can be found by clicking on the Billing tab in your account and selecting Billing Summary. On your Billing Summary, you can view all of your account billing activity. At the top of this page, it tells you when your last payment was, details of your primary payment method and your current balance. The rest of the page details your account activity and you can change the time range you're looking at by changing the dates here. You can view your billing summary either daily or monthly by changing this here. It's also here you can print a monthly invoice for your records. AdWords doesn't send invoices to you, so you need to visit this page within your account whenever you want to print an invoice. If you want to change any of your billing details, including adding a backup payment method, you can do so on the Billing Preferences page, which is also found in the Billing tab. So the Campaigns and Billing tabs are where you should be spending most of your time while you get to know your AdWords account. But we'll now quickly take a look at the other tabs so you can understand the things that live in each of the other tabs. The Opportunities tab is where the Google system suggests ideas to help you improve your account. This often includes keyword suggestions as well as bidding suggestions. Your opportunities will show you what you could add to your account, as well as what impact this could have. Also on this tab is an important section, the Tools section. AdWords offers you many tools to help you understand and work with your account. For example, if for any reason you can't see your ad, the Ads Diagnostic tool will help you to understand the issue. If you want more keywords, the Keyword tool will help you out. And if you want to track if your AdWords clicks are turning into sales, you can use the Conversion Tracking tool. The Reporting tab gives you even more reporting power, so you can understand every aspect of your performance. When you're getting started with AdWords, the Campaigns tab shows you everything you need to know. But if you want advanced information on the Reporting tab, you can set up and view Google Analytics, view your change history, which shows you which changes you've made in your account, as well as run more specific reports. The My Account tab is your administration section of your account. On the Account Preferences page, you can edit your login information, language and country settings, as well as your notification settings. The Account Access page allows you to invite other users to view or edit your account, which means that if you have more people using your AdWords account, you don't need to give them your login details. Simply add them as a user to the account and they can log in with their own email address and password, making your personal data secure. And that's it, a complete tour of your account. You should now understand where to find everything you need and be comfortable making changes. For more information about the terms and concepts in this lesson, check out our online beginner's guide. And for more information on how to build and maintain a successful AdWords account, check out the next lesson in this series. Thanks for watching.